hello trader uh, welcome once again to uh, pro forex so today we will talk about uh, mm, forex analysis how to perform the analysis uh, and uh, how you know the pro traders how they analyze the market and uh, you know what parameters to consider so uh, very first of all you know, we will see that uh, uh, say for example you want to analyze uh, GBP USD uh, so just let me show you I've already set up the you know uh, the screen accordingly so um, just a second let me just select the highlighter I'm sorry yes so if you want to analyze GBP USD so what most people does they just you know see the chart and you know the novice trader new traders they just see the chart and they take the instant decision that okay this is going up or this is going down and I should buy or sell so no uh, this is not the correct way what you should do is very first of all you should analyze uh, USTX the reason is uh, the reason being uh, the first reason being that USTX uh, you know it 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 it, uh, it mostly controls the the market it is the you know the the propeller of uh, you know, forex trading so you can say that uh, if USTX you know it goes down GBP euro tends to go up if it uh, goes down they tends to go up so uh, I actually this is uh, you know it's it's uh, even it can be even more uh, I'm trying to be more as precise and as simple as possible but um, it can be even more uh, complicated but uh, the thing is that uh, USTX is the uh, is the main uh, is the main main uh, currency, uh, or you can say the main instrument that controls uh, the market uh, rather. So, uh, uh, like if you want to you know uh, analyze or if you want to trade in GBP USD, you f you should first analyze that. Okay, uh, this is the uh, USTX and this is the H1 chart, and you know the chart is suggesting uh, you know to you know suggesting that USTX will go up then your then your uh, mm, then what you should do you should try to find out uh, the cell uh, resistance level in GBP USD because that will give you more leverage that will give you more profit because the overall markets is suggesting that GBP is in uh, sell now if uh, you know if you uh, take uh, like a four over in USTX then you will come to know so you can see this is uh, constantly right now the USTX is constantly moving up and uh, so that is the reason uh, GBP it has to you know it has to be traveling uh, down downward so now we will check GBP USD mm, let me remove this so if you see uh, the overall uh, the GBP trend is downward as we already saw in uh, GBP USD H4 timeline, so this is uh, the H4 timeline, and we can see that this is you know already it's it's a uh, uh, it's in sale and uh, it's a down downward more or less. Uh, but you know when it uh, when it about when it is uh, GBP USD, it's about to change its direction. You will come to know. Uh, using different uh, parameters using different uh, types of uh, analysis a lot of experience is needed but uh, this is uh, you know the basic thing that uh, I want to talk about today is that you should know about uh, this USTX analysis you should analyze uh, US dollar index so that it will help you analyze uh, you know the other market direction because USTX is controlling all other uh, currency, uh, currency pairs more or less uh, when USTX, uh, you know, it goes down, uh, XAUSD tends to go up. So, as you can see right now, uh, dollar has fallen and US XAUSD is going up. Same, uh, same goes with GBP, uh, Euro, uh, NZD, AUD. Now, if you see, uh, dollar is going down and USD care and USD JPY because USD is now not, you know, it's it's in the front, it's not in the back. So the base currency, uh, you know, if it is um, if it is the base uh, currency, uh, this is called base currency, and this is the counter currency. So the base currency is uh, uh, USD, and if you observe that, you know, market is moving in line, uh, you know, in line with uh, USTX. 
apart from that you should also consider uh, the uh, mm, the timing the sessions uh, you know the forex trading has four sessions so i will just uh, show you one screen so that you will understand that what i am talking actually what i am talking about what we will do we will use uh, you know one of our uh, forex uh, factory account and uh, we will show you that how you can uh, find it out uh, just a second mm -hmm. let me open forex factory account so here uh, we will go to the uh, market and here it will show the uh, session though the first session it opens up in sydney the second session opens up in uh, opens up in tokyo and then london followed by new york so what it suggests here you will get the maximum volatility and here in this area you will find the maximum volatility why because uh, the most number of traders will join in trading here if you can see here you will find the maximum volatility in this time frame this and in this time frame you will find maximum volatility so if you are you know if you are looking uh, you know to get the maximum volatility so this would be your uh, you know proper choice uh, of time to trade in forex market uh, i hope uh, you you understand what i am trying to tell you my uh, english is not very good but uh, this is just the explanation that i am trying to Uh, this is just an idea that i am trying to give so uh, you should have this uh, you know uh, knowledge uh, to trade uh, in certain forex session you can adjust your time accordingly and you can set up the alarm uh, not only that you should also uh, you should also analyze uh, calendars so the trading calendars will give you a proper idea that you know what time so these are the time for the day uh where the uh, news wait let me just yes so this is the time frame uh, it suggest that this is the news uh, that will come for the day and uh, you know you should focus on that you should read the news uh, it will give you a proper idea that you know whether it is going buy or whether that is going in sell and you know how you should it is uh, all uh, it's all matter of you know experience gradually you will learn but these are the main factors that you should uh, consider while the forex session uh, trading uh, trading opening time trading closing time and this uh, calendar and this ustx analysis everything you should understand and then you can trade and you know your accuracy will improve day by day so as you can see the ustx is constantly falling and the market is going up so had you uh, you know had you been aware of this uh, analysis you could have your analysis could have been more uh, improvised and it could have been uh, even better so this is the basic uh, idea we will talk more about it uh, uh, later on in the later video i i just want to keep it uh, short and simple as short and as simple as possible so this is the basic idea how you should uh, follow the analysis uh if you have any other questions or query uh, try to uh, you know tr please drop it in the comment section below or just contact us in our telegram channel thank you for being with us thank you